Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, I've been busy, I've been working on NFTs, and yeah, I've been basically learning how to do digital art, I've been learning how to program, and I'm loving it. I just don't really have time to make videos, but I wanted to show you this really cool trick that I learned. Thank you to whoever told me to use Inkscape. Uh, I can't remember who it was, but it was someone commented on my channel saying it's basically like free Canva, but it's not. It's like a, a million times more powerful, I would say. So it's called Inkscape. And the best thing is if you just go on Google and type in Inkscape, uh, draw freely, which is exactly what it is. It's open source and you just download it for your uh, system. And then the tool that I'm using at the moment, if you go to uh, path and then trace bitmap, it will open up this trace bitmap option here. It also has this thing called pixel art, which turns pixel art into real art, which I'm definitely going to be checking out as well. But for now, I want to focus on this tool here. You may remember if you're a long term viewer of my content that I uh, learned about Creative Commons licensing pretty late on and everybody told me to make sure that I edited the image but I had no idea how to edit or to make things like this. I was literally hand tracing things and oh god it's been a rough four days but now I know that you can just do this it's gonna be a lot easier but this for Redbubble think about how like amazing a design this is and all you do is you think about your niche uh, so caveman so you just search for caveman for example it's just an example let's say you have a keyword like um, a joke about Neanderthals or a joke about cavemen and you want to put like a cool picture on there or whatever I don't know click tools and then usage rights and then click creative commons licenses so the kind of the rule generally, and make sure that you check this for each image, is if you click here and you click license details, if it takes you to this page here, Creative Commons, then um, you can use it for, um, you can use it for, what's the word? <laughs> Commercial use, um, but you, you generally, you wanna change it in some way. So you wanna just save the image and that's exactly what we're gonna do. But we're gonna change it in a really cool way because we're gonna make a really, really nice illustrated kind of thing in about five seconds, which is pretty useful. I just, I don't know what happened there. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Never mind. let's not even make it a bit bigger. Let's just zoom in a bit. And then let's move it here. So let's go from the beginning, just so you can follow what I'm doing. So path, trace bitmap, and then I'm using edge detection with an edge edge threshold of 0 0.500. Let's just hit apply here and see what happens. Okay, you can, you can see that it's kind of like, I guess this isn't going to work because there's two people here, so it's going to always look a bit weird. So let's just get another image. Okay, let's just go with this one. I don't know what this image is, but okay, I guess. And then apply. Let's see if this works. Yeah, look at that. That's really cool. Like, that would normally take me so long. I just didn't know how to make something like that at all. You can also, you can invert the image um, if you want to put it on a white t-shirt. I don't really like this. I don't like the way it's laid out, honestly, but I guess I just have to get used to this tool. I should delete that one. I do really like this tool. This is only my second day of using this tool, remember. So that's, I don't know. I just think that's really, really cool. And it was definitely worth telling people about just this. This is the first kind of use I found of this tool. But yeah, I've been doing loads of crazy things like trying to do this by hand and like trying to draw around them and everything like that. But yeah, this is just way easier and the effect is really, really nice. You can use, you can try these different options as well. This is just the option that I found uh, that worked best for me. If you're wondering how I found this, I am looking to um, make an NFT collection. But before you make an NFT collection, you need to have NFT art and I'm not an artist. So yeah, I went with this, but this is very easily uh, applicable to Redbubble. Just in case this is one of my first videos you've ever seen, let's just find a keyword around this. So siterubber.com in title caveman in text. 
1 to 150 results. See if anything comes up. Only one result. Captain Caveman, that's probably uh, copyright, so that's not going to work. So, look, here's an example. I love cavemen. This is probably selling because some people have seen this and they think it's funny. You could just write, I uh, love cavemen, and then you could put, like, this picture or this picture here. I don't know. You get, you get the idea, guys. You can find your own keywords. You can watch uh, some of the videos on my channel if you want keyword methods. Inkscape is amazing and it's free and I'm going to delve pretty deep into this tool. So if you want to see more from this tool, then yeah, definitely subscribe and look out for some more content real soon. Peace out.